Today takes us to the outskirts of Kernville, California in the Sequoia National Forest to explore Brush Creek to Brush Creek Falls. This hike starts on the Mount 99 Road, the same road that takes you up to Pack Saddle Cave and Selman Creek Falls. It'll start right here at the Brush Creek Campground, and you'll have to cross the street to get to the trailhead. So be very careful when you cross the street for cars. And you're gonna see that little sign right there, and you're gonna see a trail. The trail is gonna be along Brush Creek, which actually connects to the Kern River. And along the way, you'll hear the sounds of the river, so you know you're heading the right way. This is a 1.5 mile round trip hike, an elevation gain of about 600 feet. You will pass this tree bench underneath, so make sure to watch your head when you walk through this trail. You're going to be walking through oak, brush, and various forms of vegetation, and you will see cascades as you make your way up through the trail. So this is a really nice trail. It's a short hike you could do, and you could just camp across the street. So right here is the creek that's gonna go up to the waterfall up later on in this video. And you're gonna see the creek just flow throughout the whole trail. You will start to see some fall colors along the way. And you will gain a little bit of elevation as you get further and further along the trail. And the trail will narrow at some points and some points you will lose it. And you will have to climb over some rocks, which you will see later on in this video. But you do get some pretty nice views and you do get some fruits and plants right here and you can see the mountains from a distance coming down Brush Creek and you, right here you're gonna cross over this little river right here where the trail meets up again now the trail does have some shade but it is exposed in some portions and right here is one of the little waterfalls that goes into one of the pools. So this is a pretty neat pool. It's a small waterfall, not a big one, but still pretty cool. You could also bring a filter, fill up to the creek. And right here, we're just above the creek. We still got some climbing and some hiking to do. And you do get some amazing views of the mountains up ahead. And if you like this trail, I de definitely recommend checking out Pack Saddle Cave and Salmon Creek Falls as well. And you can also check out the Seven Teacups. Those are also on my channel if you want to check them out. And right here we have a nice little waterfall coming down leading to a pool and right here we're gonna have to climb over these rocks and get back onto the path and we're gonna cross the creek right here so it's easy to miss this portion and after this section you kind of lose the trail but as long as you stay close to that brush creek, you should be okay. And when you cross over to where this portion is at, we're actually going to have to find a way to get down to where those waterfalls are. And there's a tarantula, so just watch out for insects on here. So I'm looking around right here and trying to figure out how I can get to the waterfall. So the trail just kind of disappears and I do lose it and I do see the pools and the waterfalls coming down and it's pretty sketchy to get down but I did climb down 
I couldn't get to the top one, but I was able to get to the lower one, which is right here. And they have some nice pools up here, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shoot up above to get some aerial footage of the upper falls. So right here, you can see the pools right there and it just keeps going on. So the one above it looks a little bit bigger than the one below it. And you do get these amazing views of the Southern Sierras. And it's very rocky right here. And there you can see another pool right there. And you can just see the carvings in the rocks, which is pretty amazing. So this trail is pretty cool. It's a nice short hike you could do. I definitely recommend taking your time on this hike. And when you get to this portion, I'd be very careful as it could be very dangerous as you could slip down these rocks and fall and hurt yourself. So, I'd recommend probably bringing a rope if you really want to get to that upper one right there. But this is the canyon. You can see from the distance all the trees and the water coming down. So I was able to get some good aerial footage and there's another pool right there you can see coming down. And then another pool. And it goes back into the waterfall right down there. see all the brush, the mountains, and that's coming up from where I came, which are the kings of the